Hello everyone and welcome to chapter 12 of the Hatchet. Happy day today. I hope everyone's having a great day. I'm excited you're here with me listening. Chapter 12 and the first sentence is maybe going to shock you. It says the fish spear did not work. Poor Brian. He stood in the shallows and waited again and again. The small fish came closer and closer and he lunged time after time, but was always too slow. He tried throwing it, jabbing it, everything, but flailing with it and it just didn't work. The fish were too fast. He had been so sure, so absolutely certain that it would work the night before. Sitting by the fire, he had taken the willow and carefully peeled the bark until he had a straight staff about six feet long and just under an inch thick at the base, the thickest ends. Then, propping the hatchet in the crack of the rock wall, he had pulled the head of the spear against it, carving a thin piece off each time until the thick end tapered down to a needle point. Still not completely satisfied, he could not imagine hitting one of the fish with a single point. He carefully used the hatchet to split the point in the middle for 8 to 10 inches and jammed a piece of wood up into the split to make a two-pronged spear with the points about two inches apart. It was crude, but it looked effective and seemed to have good balance when he stood outside the shelter and heaved the spear. He had worked on the fish spear until it had become more than just a tool. He'd spent hours and hours on it, and now it didn't work. He moved into the shallows and stood as the fish came. Just as before, they swarmed around his legs, some of them almost six inches long, but no matter how he tried, they were too fast. At first, he tried throwing it, but had no chance. As soon as he brought his arm back, well before he threw, the movement frightened them. Next, he tried lunging at them, having the spear ready just above the water and thrusting with it. Finally, he actually put the spear in the water and waited until the fish were right in front of it. But somehow, he telegraphed his motion before